Hi everyone, my name is Faith Hunter and welcome to this eight minute feel good yoga flow. This session is sponsored by V8, the original plant powered drink made so you feel good inside and out. Today, we're targeting all your muscles along with doing some breath work in order to calm and restore the body. Whether this is your first or 500th yoga class, welcome. By taking just eight minutes, these small movements add up to big results. Now, let's begin our flow. Make your way into a comfortable cross-leg position. Sit up tall. Maybe then give your shoulders a little roll so you can get nice and comfortable as we begin our practice for today. Go on and close your eyes and your palms can face down on your knees. This helps with grounding, centering, and setting the tone of your day. As your eyes close, allow your breath to flow smoothly in and out of your nose. Just observe and notice, feel, connect to where you are now. The hips rooting, the spine elongating, and the breath starting to ignite your soul. If you feel any tension through your jaw muscles or your face, just allow them to relax as you exhale. Take another deep inhale through your nose. Hold the breath just for a few seconds. Exhale, push it forcefully out of your mouth. One more time like that. Deep breath in through your nose. Hold the breath, retain, feel that energy rise. Exhale out of your mouth. I think we should do this one more time. Breathe in through your nose, hold, Notice, feel, observe, and push it out. Now bring your palms together at your heart. Inhale, slowly sweep those arms overhead. Before we go into the flow, I just want to say thank you for being with me. No matter how much time you dedicate to your yoga journey, all of these small moves add up to huge results. Making sure that you are crossing at your ankles, right or left is in front, and you're taking your hands and grabbing hold of your ankles and shins. We're moving into some spinal flexion. So this is all about stimulating the energy of the spine. As you inhale, the chest goes forward, the hips go back. And as you exhale, you round the back. Inhale forward, exhale round. So find that flow that feels good for you. And I often encourage my students to close their eyes. So go on, close your eyes and notice, observe, and take this moment to see exactly what you need in your practice, even though it's short for you today. Just a few more moments of this spinal flexion, nice big inhales and exhales. And remembering, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale center. Sweep those arms overhead once again. Exhale, fan them out. <sighs> Taking our transition over to our hands and knees. So coming onto all fours, spreading your fingers wide across the mat. Curl your toes under and begin to straighten your legs coming into our first down dog. As you come into that down dog, relax your neck, let your head hang heavy. And the feet are about hip bone distance apart. Just find stillness here. Taking that moment to observe, feel, and notice. Pressing the heels generously to the mat, they don't have to touch. And then slowly begin to walk your feet to the top of the mat. As you make your way to the top, know that you can bend your knees, find a little movement, and then roll that body all the way up. So you're coming to stand in mountain pose. Finding our little flow here. You're gonna hook the thumbs, bend the knees just slightly, scoop up the earth, inhale, rise, open up, and then exhale, dive forward. Drop your palms to mat. Step your right foot all the way behind you. Finding our low lunge. Draw that left hip back and root down through your left foot. 
hook the thumbs again and slowly rise and lift up into your high lunge. Now, if hooking the thumbs feels uncomfortable, you can always release the palms. One more breath here in your high lunge, drop the shoulders. Exhale, lower your palms down to frame your left foot. Step your left foot back and let's come into plank pose. Wrist and shoulders are aligned. As you exhale, draw the navel in, drop your knees, bend the elbows back, lower the entire body to the mat, press into the tops of your feet, keep those elbows hugging in as you rise and lift your body into a nice cobra pose. Relax the shoulders, gazing forward. Curl your toes under now. Lift those hips, downward facing dog. Give yourself time to move about, maybe bend your knees right and left, shake it out a little bit. And then begin to walk your feet to the top of your mat. Still in that forward fold, let's roll on up to stand. Easing your body to mountain pose. Take a deep breath in, exhale, empty out. Finding that again on the other side, hook those thumbs, soften the knees, scoop it up. Inhale, rise, arch back. Exhale, lead with your heart as you fold forward. Hands frame your feet or fingertips touch the mat. Inhale, lifting up halfway, hands to mat or shins. Slide your left foot all the way behind you now. Draw that right hip back, root down through your right foot and reach through your left heel. That left quad is engaged. Inhale, hook those thumbs, rise and lift up. Relax your shoulders, high lunge. Keeping the thumbs hooked or palms can face each other. Last breath in your high lunge, bend deep into your right knee. Lower your palms down to the mat. Ease your right foot back, finding your plank pose once again. And know that you can lower your knees and chest. Yeah, we're still holding here in plank. Or you can bend your elbows for Chaturanga Dandasan. Roll over to the tops of your feet, come into your up dog or stay with your cobra. Curl the toes, draw the hips back slowly, finding your way in down dog. Now we're getting into all parts of the body, so let's get into the hamstrings a little bit. Sweep the right leg up into the sky, keep the spine releasing towards the earth, the head hanging, and it's okay if that hip's open. We're just feeling it out, feeling good. And then lower your right foot to the mat. Sweep that left leg up, getting that other side. Keep those fingers spreading wide across your mat to support you. Reach that left leg up, last breath. Three-legged dog, stretch, I love it. Lower your left foot to the mat. And then slowly begin to bend your knees. Lower the knees to the earth. Draw the hips back. And find your child's pose. Know that you can stay right where you are in child's pose, or begin to lift up. As we head into the last part of this class, I want you to take a moment and acknowledge the work that you did today. By taking even a little bit of time out of your schedule, you took a step towards more progress. Thank you for showing up for not only this class, but for yourself too. We're actually gonna make our way back into a cross leg position. So lightly crossing those legs, sitting up tall. And I'd like for you to breathe in, reach those arms high overhead, and then exhale, twist to your right. Hold here and relax those shoulders. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Moving to the other side, inhale, sweep the arms high overhead, shoulders relax, actively extending those fingertips, exhale slowly to your left, softening the right hand to the left knee, left fingertips behind you, spine is still long, and know that you can gaze over your left shoulder if you'd like. Last breath. Slowly unravel your body. Inhale, sweep those arms overhead once again. And then this time, exhale, hinge from your hips, fold forward. And just let your body relax, settle in. 
Opening up the lower back. And starting to prepare yourself for meditation. Closing the eyes, grounding down. Slowly begin to lift your upper body and placing your right hand right around your lower belly, slightly below your navel, and then your left hand right at the center of your heart. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders, and I just want you to be, feel, observe, and notice. Acknowledging your beautiful life, the time that you've cultivated and you've crafted to nourish your body, your mind, as well as your soul. Breath is smooth, shoulders are relaxed, and acknowledge that sense of feeling good. You did this for you. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Slowly release the hands and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining us today on Class Fit Sugar. I hope you're feeling good after this yoga flow and you are ready to take on whatever the day has in store. This workout is inspired by V8 Original, which has vegetables, vitamins, and minerals. Cheers. See you next time.